I have stated since day one of me starting this channel that I will always use my platform to better the space. Whether that be raw, unscripted, just straight to the point product reviews, right? Or talking about what we would like to see in a space, what better on a headset or better on a keyboard, mouse, whatever product, just what we would like to see in it, what's good, what's bad, so on and so forth. And believe it or not, you all help big time with that down in the comments, right? You may think I say, hey, leave a comment down there just to boost up the algorithm or whatever, however it works. I don't even know how the algorithm works, right? But again, all of these companies, every single company, trust me, they tell me, they read those comments down there. They want to hear from you guys, right? I'm the one talking about the product. You all are the ones buying the product, right? So they read those comments down there talking about, again, what you guys want to see or what's wrong with it or what you could do differently. So again, that's what I want to do here today is use my platform to hopefully better the space. And what we're going to talk about are five mice that I would really like to see come out. And I want you guys to leave a comment down below what mice or what mouse you really want to see refreshed or what type of mouse you want to see come out. And for my first mouse, I got to kick it off with the Zowie ZA. I love the Zowie ZA shape. It never really got the respect and love and attention it really deserved. It's coming around a little bit more that we're seeing. Again, in my previous video, we're seeing a little bit more Ergo Love come out. And the ZA is just like that, right? You got that slim AMB type of uh, profile, but you got that nice hump right there so you can dance it and you can lock it. Such a nice mouse. But anyways, other than that, the ZA has to come in wireless. We need it in wireless. Again, they've done it with the EC line. They, they did that pretty darn good. I'm happy with it. It's right around 70 and some change, which isn't too heavy. It's a nice manageable weight. I know some people would like them a little bit lighter, maybe with uh, some more top tier specs I've seen from other companies. I get it. But at the end of the day, Zowie makes an absolutely premium product and you feel it in your hand. And I'll take that over some lightweight flexi hunk of junk. I state it all the time and I still stand by it but we need the Zowie ZA and wireless. Oh my gosh, game over. If they can do it with uh, the dock, which I'm sure they will, just like we saw with the EC, it'd be so nice to be able to swap. I got my Ergo, I got my uh, ZA, bam, flop them out from the dock, keep them charging, play with them here and there. It'd just be that perfect on desk setup. So what a place to start with the Zowie ZA. I honestly think a lot of you can agree with me this right here. Uh, and if again, if it's not the ZA, maybe it's the S1 or the FKs or something like that, you know, Zowie needs to make their entire lineup wireless. What the heck is the holdup? Mouse number two. I know a lot of you are going to agree with this. The G703. Now, let me hold you up here. I know what someone's going to jump down in the comments. Hey, Techni, this other company, some mod or some mod, made a post about coming out with one lightweight wireless, uh, newer specs, so on and so forth. Well, there's a couple ways I can go about that. Number one, that's just a post, right? Is There's nothing solid. No one's got a product in their hand. It's just a post of a picture. So who knows? Uh, number two is uh, we see it so much in the space, but golly, copy shapes are getting old. It's exhausting. It's boring. This is Logitech's, right? We're coming off Zowie. Those are Zowie's. Leave them there. Stop copying them. And we see it so much, right? It's kind of like, and then some people are going to argue, well, if they're not going to do something about it, at least this company will do something about it. I, I don't know. You know, sure, I can agree with that here and there, but it's just like, I don't know, enough with the copy shapes. Let's get fresh stuff out there. And, and talking about this shape from Logitech, man, it's, it's, whew, it is, it is really nice. It's got that egg hump in the back that really hits you here in the middle of the palm. You know, it's, it's some of those nice, big, juicy side buttons, those grooves. It, it's something really special. I do wish it flared out a little bit over here, but man, this is a real special mouse here. And, and it's weird how Logitech hasn't refreshed this yet. They've done so many other mice. Why do they leave this one in the dust? It, it, it's very weird. It definitely boggles my mind here. You know what I mean? But again, what we need from this is, again, just update. We need this mouse with the G Pro treatment. And, and that's it. That's all you need with this mouse here is that G Pro treatment. And game over. It will be an 
instant selling unit. So the G703, I honestly think it's something we all can agree on. And I think a lot of you is down in the comments again, will be like, yeah, G703 refresh the G Pro treatment will be something much appreciated. But again, as far as copy shapes, uh, me being a reviewer where I test them all and put them all in my hand, it's exhausting. It's just like boring. It's like, I love tech, right? And peripherals. And I like something fresh, something new, something innovative. I stated over and over, right? And seeing so many copy shapes, just like, gosh, it's all. It's why I stopped covering mouse pads. It's like, yo, they're getting to be the same. Like, I might as well just start reviewing drapery and sheets then if I'm just talking about, you know, some cloth on my desk. You know, it's the same thing we're seeing in a mouse space. But again, Logitech. You got a gold mine on your hands. What are you doing? Next up, the Steel Series Sensei 10. This mouse is just, I don't know, man. It, this is a really fun mouse. Again, you can go back to Zowie FK ish, it's kind of what this is, but this is a little bit wider. It's like that Ergo Ambi mouse. Like if you're an Ergo Mainer and you come to this as far as an Ambi, you're like, all right, I can get down with this. I can have some pretty good fun with this, right? You got the right-handed and the left-handed users here. You don't see much of that in the space at all right now, you know? Now, this was refreshed multiple times before, but but SteelSeries has been going a real different angle, like coming out with a lot of new, fresh, innovative products, which I absolutely love. High five, Steel Series. Definitely love to see that. But I don't think we can leave, uh, again, these gold mines, these tried and true, these loved mice, off in the dust, right? I think, you know, every few years, just get a refresh over here, get this in a nice wireless, a little bit lighter weight, you know? Again, the shape, the feel of it is fantastic. It's premium. Gosh, how many Sensei 10 lovers do we have out there? And would you love to see this? You know, it doesn't have to be much lighter weight. It's not horrible right now, but a little bit more, maybe a little bit more balanced out. Most importantly, wireless, you know? Oh man, it would be so nice to see that. Now I know many is out there won't really know much about the Sensei 10. This is just a, a classic here, you know what I mean? It's not talked about much, but I know there's a few years out there that could really appreciate it and agree that, man, a wireless, slightly lighter weight Sensei 10 would be absolutely phenomenal. How about our next mouse here? The Razer Mamba. Hmm. Where do we go with this? This is kind of weird, right? Because we've seen the Death Adder refresh so much. They've come out with a Death Adder V3 Pro, which I've stated in a video before. It's almost like, well, the Death Adder V3 Pro's almost Mamba-ish. It really is. You can see the Mamba has always been that more subtle down Death Adder. It's not, you don't have the uh, aggressive swoops in the front or in the back. It's just a little more subtle. Now, the Mamba being a little bit more plump all the way around, wider, taller, just that plumpness is across the entire mouse right there. It's such a comfortable, nice, fun mouse to use, especially if you're playing a story game or a story-driven FPS, maybe like Destiny or something like that, where you don't need to flick and dip so much. You can just game forever with this mouse. Oh, it's nice. Those big, chunky side buttons. You got the buttons that roll down here so you don't deal with any of that pinch. You got that nice, low, recess scroll wheel. Now, talking about this mouse being refreshed, it's good how it is, but... This version here, there's a lot of known issues, and I've had issues before as far as tracking, the buttons, it's just flawed internal specs, and I think a lot of people can speak on that, same with mine here, because the basic mouse itself is pretty good, the build of it, again, the fill of it is solid, the features on it are solid, but again, the internal specs, at least for me, have been flawed, other people have talked about it as well, so I think giving this uh, not even so much the pro treatment, right? It doesn't need that. It just needs the updated treatment. Just slightly lighter weight right there. Again, uh, would we keep the grips? I don't know. I kind of like the grips. But again, with them being straight line like that, it helps your hand. Not helps, but it causes your thumb to kind of slide forward. So I think maybe removal of the grips or just a solid grip on the side without the lines would be nice. But at the core, kind of keep it what it is. Just update the internals reduce a little bit of the weight. Maybe what would be cool is if you use that little magnetic dock down at the bottom that you can get that 4K wireless from. Boop, set it right there. That would be awesome with the Mamba. So the Mamba sits in a really weird spot. This is probably more of my love and passion speaking here than something we need to see, right? Because a lot of you might say, well, technically, you got updated Death Adder, multiple versions of the Death Adder, right? And then you got the V3 Pro, which really sits in this spot right there. So it's kind of 
almost like a why, you know? So is it just my passion speaking for the love of my previous use of the Mamba? I don't know. I think they can go a different direction with this, kind of like they did with the Cobra, right? The Cobra caught a lot of drama. It's like, you know, maybe because they put Pro on it or whatever, right? A lot of people, myself included, is like, yeah, this is just a Viper mini shape, you know what I mean? Like, what's going on here? But I understand what Razor was trying to do. Like, we're not gearing it towards that professional FPS style with the Viper V3 Pro or something like that, you know, even though they gave it the Pro name, that's where it got all sorts of weird. Um, but anyways, I see what they were doing with that. You got the RGB, you got the features and functions, you got all those, all that cool stuff packed into it there, what's really not, uh, you know, pro player type of spec, if you know the name to pro, which is, that's just a weird subject, right? I made videos about it, go watch that. So I think if they did the Mamba, in the aspect they did the Cobra with the RGB and again, maybe that charging dock, the magnetic one, stuff like that, where it's not really geared towards the Pro like the Death Adder V3 Pro and just gave it, what do we say, the casual treatment? I hate the word casual gamer. It's like, what makes a casual gamer? Um, I would say, um, competitively casual or casually competitive, right? It's, I don't know, that, that just irks me. I'm not even gonna talk about that. But I think that would be a great fit for the Mamba right there. You can see how I'm rambling over my words. My passion for the Mamba sits deep. Now for the last mouse on our list, talking about passion rolling deep, the Steel Series Rival 310. Oh my gosh, I love this mouse. Please leave a comment down below if you're a 310 lover. Mamma Mia, this mouse, oh gosh, I love it. It's like that Ergo that's not too tall, talking about coming off the line of the Mamba or something like that, even the ZA, right? Those have those humps that always just hit you back here. This is opposite because you got that big flare over here. So it's like always resting on your hand. It's almost like you see those mice. What is it like the, uh, I forget, the Logitech and Razor. They got the little ledge over there where you set your thumb on. This almost has like the ledge over here where you can set your palm on. You know, it's, oh gosh, I just put this in my hand. Holy smokes, I want to plug it in and main it. I, I might put this on my desk and game with this for a little while. It's been a long time but it's unbalanced. Again, you got the cable. These grips are known to be horrible. I've bought like three of them because again, they start peeling and they wear off. You can see this one's wore down a little bit, but uh, Steel Series, if they refresh this, number one with the wireless treatment, a little lighter weight. If Steel Series, if you're watching this, do not jack with these side buttons. Leave them big like they are. These side buttons are am amazing, amazing. If you could put these side buttons on like your uh, the Prime mice, oh, that would have been amazing. That would have been phenomenal. But talking about with the 310, you've really left a lot of your bigger Ergo roots off in the dust. You did the Prime, which was a little bit there. The Aerox uh, 5 or 7, whatever which one it was. You had that Ergo there, but as far as these more dramatic Ergo type of shapes, even going along with the uh, Sensei 10 there, bigger, bolder mouse, you kind of let those go in the dust. And this one is just, gosh, I've made this mouse for so long. Just put my hands on it. It just gives me like nerd chill. So the Rival 310 here, you know, on a lot of the other mice I've talked about at the end of it, I'm kind of like, I'm sure a lot of you can agree with me right here. We want to see this or that, you know. The, the 310 is not a mouse I can sit here and say that. And maybe that's why SteelSeries hasn't refreshed it, right? Again, in my previous video talking about Ergo mice, uh, go check it out if you haven't. But again, Ergo now getting a little bit more traction than it deserves. Because again, I think those kids playing Fortnite are growing up, playing different games where you really got to kind of hold your shots a little more. You know, you're not building walls and stuff, hiding behind them. You actually got to get into that battle and hold your shot. Uh, go watch my Ergo video. We're talking about it there. But the 310... Again, it, it really took a true passion and ergo fan to really love this mouse. And I don't think it got as much love as it got back in the days, which it was popular. But again, now it's definitely, I pushed it aside. And I think many people don't even think about it, you know. But giving this mouse to refresh, I think would be, I don't know, am I speaking for myself? Let me know down in the comments. Am I speaking for myself? on the 310 kind of like we talked about the mama right the mama and the 310 i got a i got a deep love for these mice you know what i mean but holy moly refresh 310 mm, 
I'd be in heaven. So there we go. The five mice I would like updated, refreshed. We know some of them are in the works, right? Like Zowie, we all know Zowie's work on our wireless line. As far as all these other ones, I know nothing about it. If you know, let me know down below for sure. But uh, let me know what you think about these five picks. But I want to know what mice you want to see. I know a lot of you, again, want that Viper Mini, that lightweight Viper Mini Pro. But as far as any other shapes that have kind of been pushed to the side, let me know down in the comments and let me know what you think of these picks. Am I alone for these? But, but again, these mice right here hold a... Uh, Real, real good spot in my passion for gaming here. So uh, again, let me know which five you pick, what you think of mine. But at the end of the day, thank you so much for coming by and watching this video. I hope you had a good time because I really had a good time talking about this here. And hopefully again, it betters the space. If you enjoyed it, and if this helped you out a little bit, please hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I hope to catch you in the next one. Bye now.